Welcome to Black Sight Tutorials. First, you need to get your gun. Model you can get it from this website or from anywhere else. Then you need these two websites, Photopea and Conversio. I use Photopea for my textures and I convert them to DDS with Conversio. You will need to make a new project in Photopea and fill in the color you want for your reflect like I did. After you make your texture, you will then export them as PNG, like this. Then convert them to DDS like I do. Now you need to create a folder called Weapons then, inside that, a folder called XML to Codewalker. Then inside that Codewalker folder, you need to create these three folders that I select. Inside the texture folder, create a folder called PNG and DDS. You will store your textures here. Then you need to open your gun and open for. Then drag the guns.ydr file over to the XML to Codewalker folder like I do. Now open Codewalker RPF Explorer. If you don't know how to install it, there is a link in the description. Then in Codewalker you need to go into edit mode then open the XML to Codewalker folder like I do. Now you need to right click the .ydr file and click export xml, then export it to the .xml folder that you created earlier. Now you open Blender 4.0. Then delete the current scene by clicking A, then delete. Now you need to open the Solemns tool. If you don't know how to install it, there is a link in the description. Now you import your gun using the import to Codewalker button in general, like I did. Now zoom in on your gun then. Click Hide Collisions to get rid of those boxes. Then, to hide the bones, go to the scene at the right and click the eye next to the gun. Then switch to the Material Preview. At the top right corner it looks like a globe. Now click your gun and enter Edit Mode. You can do this by clicking Tab. Then click this third option at the top so you can select faces on the gun later. Now go to the Materials tab on the right like I do. I want to delete this RMR site on the gun, so I will show you how. In the Materials tab, while in Edit Mode, you need to search for the materials assigned to the object you want to delete. For me, I have located the ones assigned, so I click Select on the material and it glows. Now that I have all of the materials selected for the site, I can click Delete then Vertices. Now I want to add an attachment to my gun that I want to reflect, so I'll do that now. Now that I have my attachment, I can begin the texturing process to achieve the color and reflect. Firstly, because I deleted that site, I need to delete its materials, so I'll do that like this. Now to texture the added attachment, go to the Solemns tool, then Shader Tools. 
Then expand the shader tools and search for Reflect. And then click Create Shader. Then rename the shader. Then you can delete the material that was assigned to the attachment. Now scroll down to Solemns in the Material tab then, to Texture Parameters. Then open the first texture and locate the DDS folder with your textures. Then open the main texture. For me it will be this switch texture. You can embed it if you'd like, which will just make it so you don't need to add it to the YTD file. I later changed it from embedded to unembedded for de demonstration purposes. Now open the second texture, and this will be the Reflect texture, which you can find in my Discord server. This is needed in order to get the Reflect to work. You need to embed this texture. Now go to Value Parameters, and copy these settings. Now we need to combine the attachment with the gun by clicking the attachment, and holding Shift and clicking the gun. Then do CTRL plus J, and it will join the two. And now you are done with that attachment, if you added one like I did, and if not, we will now add the color and reflect to some parts of the gun. Start by going into edit mode by clicking tab, then make sure you are on the third select option for faces like I am. Now zoom in on the gun and find where you want the gun to have the new. Color and reflect, then press L on those faces like I do, and keep doing that until you have all of the parts on the gun selected that you want to change. If you select something that you want undone, you can click CTRL plus C, or you can hold left shift and left click on the face to undo it. I will speed this part up. Now we can start the texturing process. I will first rename the attachments material. You don't have to do this. Then you need to click Create Shader on, reflect again, then name the material. Then scroll down to Solemns and do the same process I did for the attachment. This time for the first texture, it should be the color texture you made, not the attachment texture if they differ. Then add the reflect texture to the second one. Then set the value parameter settings like I did for the attachment. Then scroll up and click Assign on the new material while in edit mode with the parts selected that you want to change. Now select the gun by clicking A or the gun then unhide the bones then click A. And that's it. Now we can export the gun using the Solemns export to Codewalker tool like I do. Now close Blender and open Codewalker and open the export folder in the XML to Codewalker folder you created, and also in the RPF Explorer. Then drag over the new XML to the RPF Explorer like I do. Then open Open4 and drag the newly created .ydr file into the gun file in Open4 like I do. Then open the guns.ytd file and import the texture DDS files you created into the YTD. Do not add the reflect texture. Just the ones you created, then click Save. Now open the .ydr file and you will see the new gun with your textures. To see the reflect it won't show well in Open 4, but it will show good in game. 
Here is the gun in game with its. Reflect on the newly created textures. Congratulations. You have created your first Reflect Gun using Blacksite tutorials. For more tutorials and the full how-to video, join my Discord.